Hi everybody, I'm sharing another bedtime story that's one of my favorites and it's special to me because this book is really, really old. It's been in my family for a long time. It's called A Little Old Man by Natalie Horton. Pictures by Will Huntington. Once there was a little old man who lived in a little house on a little island in the middle of a great big ocean. He lived all by himself. He was a smiling little old man with no hair at all on the top of his head, but he did have a nice white beard. Every day after he had washed himself and dressed himself, he cooked his own breakfast. He thought it would be fun if he had someone to eat with. He was a very busy little old man. After breakfast, he swept his little house inside, and then he worked outside. Sometimes he worked in his garden, and sometimes he worked on the roof of his little house. Sometimes he went fishing in his rowboat and caught fish to fry in his frying pan. But the little old man had no one to talk to and sometimes he was sad. He thought he would be very happy if he had a cat. At night, he dreamed of cats. Big cats and little cats, black cats and gray cats, and sometimes little kittens. One morning when the little old man woke up, he heard rain splashing on his roof. And when he went outdoors, the wind was blowing and the ocean waves were getting bigger and bigger. Suddenly, a huge wave came and carried the little old man's little house right out into the ocean. There, the waves tossed it and the wind blew it until the little old man could no longer see his little house. Or could he? There was something far out in the ocean. Could it be his house? No, it was a boat. The wind and the waves pushed the boat right up onto the island where his little house used to be. When the rain stopped raining and the wind stopped blowing, the little old man went to see what the boat was like. He walked all around the outside. It was a big boat, bigger than the little old man's house. And on the deck was a little boat, smaller than the little old man's rowboat. Then the little old man went inside. He found a bedroom with bunks at the sides and a kitchen as neat as could be. The little old man looked all around and said, Oh my, what a wonderful house this would be. I will live in it until the people who own it come for it. And then the little old man heard a sound. Brrr, out from under the stove came a cat. Brrr, 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 brrr. Out from under the stove came one, two, three, four kittens. The little old man was as happy as any little old man could be and so he and the cat and the four kittens lived together on the boat. They swept it on the inside and painted it on the outside. They went fishing in the little boat 
and caught fish to fry in the frying pan. No one ever came for the boat, and the little old man was never sad or lonely again. The end. I really love that story because I love the pictures, and I also really love that the little old man um, finally had a little family when he met all the kittens that lived in the boat. Um, I hope you like the story, and I hope you sleep tight tonight. And if you're celebrating Thanksgiving tomorrow, I hope you have a great holiday. Take care. Good night.